Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices. We'll look at the DAX, the AEX and the UK market. And uh, with the DAX in the first instance, we can count from the low here, one and two and three and four and five here. So our target to take profit is 13,000. Um, we'll look at the market and any reaction that comes from there uh, in due course, but um, that uh, 13,000 is, is the uh, target there. So we'll look at um, uh, any, any move down from that, we'll look at it in terms of either being a corrective pattern, and if that's the case, then the market will move higher. Uh, if not, then we'll start looking at it trading lower. And there's no rush to trade it lower as well, because if a market moves up, and it has a, the first little five waves uh, down as such, then we can just wait for the for the retest in three waves uh, and then look to you know move into it uh, from this point. So this the, the first leg is really about confirmation. Um, and this this is in pretty much any degree of structure that you're trading as well. So do wait for that five waves because if you get five waves in the opposite direction of the trend, then we're going to get another five waves. So it really gets you to a good start. It gets you to, it gets you, it gets your trade to break even roughly. So, um, on the four hour chart here, we're looking at it uh, like this here. So from wave four here, wave one and two, one, two, three, four, five, the third, the fourth, and then we're looking for five waves up here for. Uh, for this, so we'll end up going above the level here. Um, if Friday's closing is strong, then we can expect Mondays to follow through on that as well. But this number will be, you know, it will play its part uh, here with all of this as well. So we're looking at five waves from here to here. Uh, you can see a nice long uh, third wave uh, in this space uh, here. Um, and let's go in and investigate that uh, further on the hourly chart and the tick chart. So the hourly chart here from this wave four, we were looking at taking long positions in this space here. And um, of course, um, we are where we are at the moment and um, we're looking at uh, further highs to be made here. So from this wave four here, which is a little bit small for this green wave four as well. So um, we'll see, um, but wave one and two here um, and wave three can take us uh, into this space here, wave four uh, and then wave five can be roughly the same length as wave one here. Um, but this is our profit taking uh, area here and um, on the tick chart here, I think I've got the tick chart here. Um, no, I haven't updated it. So let me just, let me just have a look. Okay, okay. So uh, wave four here, wave one and two here, and wave three will be up here. So we can look at this as wave one and two and three to come up to here, four here and five here. So we can look at this making a high above here, uh, wave four uh, in here. This should actually go higher, but um, I know large numbers can have drags on them. So, um, and wave five up into this space uh, here. So yeah, I mean, obviously stay long um, here, um, you know, for a break of the trend line or, you know, I just find it easy to take money at the level because, um, you know, it's going to zigzag across that level there and, you know, it, it just takes up too much time. So, um, yeah, trading stop is the best stop and um, trading to, a, to, a, to, you know, getting from A to B, um, and this is B here, um, is good place to take it and this would be the same for the AEX as well so um, here we're looking at just cutting short here from wave four here um, yeah so we're looking um, at all of this being wave three up into this area wave four here and we're looking for wave five up so a nice target area here if support is found on three here which is group one um, of 40 then we can look at five here um, if it's going to travel past five, then the next level to look at is halfway between eight and five, which is in uh, the six, uh, 40, five, four, six, fifty in here. Okay, you can work that out. 
um, but we are looking for uh, this top here. The only thing that chucks the spanner in the works for all of this um, is the footsie. So with the footsie here, we've still got more trend to go to the upside, as I explained the other day as well. Um, this may affect the European markets as well, um, uh, and, and also the US markets as well, because, I mean, how's this going to go up without the rest of them? Um, sure, it could find its own way as well, um, but, yeah, uh, that's a smaller percentage chance than... Um, you know, going along with the group, so to speak. But I can see here quite clearly that there's still uh, this top to be made here, which will be, we can count the same as the other ones, you know, um, but just making that wave three here, then a wave four here and a wave five here. So we may have this with the European markets. This is something that I've been working working um, with the S&P 500 as well. Um, if you're, uh, you may not trade the S&P, but... I think it's good to have a look at the two counts that I have on that. I talk about it in most videos, so either one will do the case. But so this is, yeah, um, you know, in some way this may present um, uh, in into the into the eurozone as well. Um, yeah, so this wave four here should come back to the wave four of one lesser degree here. So you really want to be having a trading stop moving up here. To, to take this, you know, it won't go as high as all of that. Um, what you can do here is use uh, group one again. So, so we've got 75, so we can go straight to 30 here. There'll be 10, 20, and 30. Okay, so there's 30. So that would be your target, um, or even 20 would be a safer target. But um, look, if the thing is, is that if support is found on top of 30, then the market's going to go to 50 at that point. But also finding a tested support on top of 30 separates it from this number here, 75. And this is a very strong number because it's got the 5 in it, and 5 being the second strongest number, 500. So it's highly likely we're going to see a corrective pattern across here. But at the same time, we have to trade what we see. And if that 3 develops a tested support on there, then you need to trade up to 5 and wait and to see if that gets a tested support and then trade up from there as well. And the classic trading levels pattern uh, from that those two levels there as well on the intraday basis. But um, yeah, anyway, this is, um, I think I'll just move this a little bit here and bring this down to that, that level there and this lower here as well. I mean, it's more realistic. Um, right. Well, that's that. All right. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Cheers.